Andres Velasco, Danny Roderick, and I worked on a project in 2003 in El Salvador. Uh, and we were confronted with the idea that uh, at the time everybody was thinking that a growth strategy is just the implementation of a well-known list of to-dos. And the uh, countries just had to go down the list of to-dos and when they got finished they would probably grow. Uh, we thought that that was an inappropriate way to think about how to make countries grow. That not all countries are stumbling in, against the same uh, obstacles, against the same constraints and that we could probably figure out a way of identifying what is the constraint that a particular country is facing. So we came up with a heuristic, with a method of identifying these constraints. So let's compare for a second El Salvador with, say, Brazil. So the first thing that comes to mind when you look at these two countries is that in El Salvador, interest rates are really, really low. So the cost of finance could not possibly be the reason why you don't see more investment, more entrepreneurship, more dynamism. But if you look at Brazil, it has some of the highest real interest rates in the world. So it must be that people in that country are still borrowing at these very high interest rates because investments must be really, really profitable, but they cannot secure the finance. So is the problem the cost of finance or is the problem the fact that in spite of cheap finance, there are no investment opportunities in place? And this idea applied systematically over and over can help figure out where in the scheme of things the constraint might lie and consequently where policies should focus themselves in order to relax a constraint that would permit further growth and then constantly figure out what the next constraint might be so that policies can be sequenced in a way that are constantly expanding growth opportunities.